So yeah, I guess we're going to be testing out the generalist today, which is plus two melee damage for every one range damage you have, plus one range damage for every two melee damage you have, and you can only equip three melee weapons and three ranged weapons at a time. So that's going to be fun to deal with. And this is our current setup. So we have one dynamite, one alien ton, two SMG tier ones, one SMG tier two, and a plank. So yeah. I think I might actually end up focusing more on the ranged aspect of the generalist and the, uh, melee. Of course, that could change at any time. Also, we're not going for any particular build this, uh, run. So, yeah. So, who knows? Maybe that rapid terror item, uh, uh, would actually be a good one to have as a generalist. And there's the first trade of this, uh, run, actually. So, that's why you four completed, and we get incendiary turret, so let's take that. And let's take some more melee damage, which also boosts the range damage. And let's take the turret, the weird food. And let's see if we can find another plane, but I'll take the tree. And save the SMG and the lumberjack check for later. And move on to A5. So yeah, welcome to A5. And it's just uh, business as usual. And that's A5 completed, let's take the turret. And the regen. And the SMG. And the lumberjack shirt. Uh, nothing here that I want. Uh, nothing here. Although I suppose, you know what? Actually, let's save the scissors three for later. And take the landmines. And move on to A6. And time re-roll again. And save this SMG thir two. So yeah, welcome to A6. And yeah, business as usual. I think I need more engineering, uh, stats, uh, go. Hmm. And that's why it's completed. So, I guess we can take the butterfly and sting like a bee. Take some more damage. And some more attack speed. So, yeah. And let's take this SMG too. And the scissors and this plank. And say the... Uh, playing tier 1 and then playing 2 for later. And let's also save the dynamite. Which is 7. And yep, it's just business as usual. Although I don't think the uh, melee side of the generalist is gonna get much use this run. Maybe if, if it could uh, stop me from taking unnecessary damage when I end up uh, walking right into enemies. Because I've been known to do that uh, a few times on this channel before. Hmm. No, speaking of this channel, I was thinking about uh, doing a uh, general Q&A session if uh, you could uh, kind of get me to a thousand subscribers before, let's just say, Christmas. So yeah, I think that might be a subscriber goal. Oh well, let's just uh, move on and focus on uh, Surviving Way 7. I so, so yeah, that's way 7 completed, and we did a little fraud, so let's just recycle that one. And let's see some more engineering. And the plank. Actually, let's ditch the scissors. And just go for plank 2. And the dynamite. And this plank. And this lens. And save the weird food for later, and I probably should have taken that little muscly dude because uh, that would have been uh, useful this run, so let's just move on to a 8. Welcome to a 8. And it's business as usual, so that's good. Ow. Ow. Oh dear, I need to stop letting that happen. And yeah, I guess we uh, completed way 8, so let's take the mastery. And that did basically nothing for us. So boo hiss, boo hiss. At least I don't think it did anything for us, so I guess the mastery is useless as a generalist. So let's take some more range damage, which would boost the melee damage to up to 12. So that's nice. And let's take the weird food. Take the coupon, then the SMG 3. Save the alien ton. And the last stuck for later. And move on to wave 9, aka the Speedy Boys wave, so yeah. Welcome to wave 9. And yep, business as usual. 
And yep, I guess uh, this build is still holding up pretty well, especially since we get uh, all that health from those consumable uh, fruits, which uh, is currently at four extra health from those fruits, which is a good thing. And that's a nine completed, even though I basically walked into an enemy. So let's just recycle this bait. Need some more armor, and some more regen, and the alien ton, you lost stuck for more luck, and the SMG too. Hmm, let's actually take the tractor. Take the vigilante ring for later, and take the propeller hat, and move on to wave 10. Because I don't think the uh, percentage uh, damage it that we do is going to matter that much after we get the Vigilante Ring. Oh well, that's in the future. Let's just focus on surviving wave 10. So yeah, if you've been enjoying the video so far, so, and uh, want to support the channel, why don't you drop a like, like on this video and subscribe if you, if you want to see more of this uh, kind of content from me. And yeah. Anyways, let's just focus on surviving this uh, wave and hopefully not dying to those guys. Luckily, we get enough uh, health from the fruits uh, to make that not a problem. So, yeah. And that's week 10 completed. And we did a ritual. Let's recycle that one. And take some more regen. And the vigilante ring. And the coupon. And nothing here. Look, actually, you know what? Let's take the alloy. And you know what? Let's uh, move on to wave 11. And yeah, because the melee damage is now at 21, with the range damage being 10. Oh boy. I think I need to boost my melee damage more. Just so I'd have a higher range damage stat. Which sounds a bit backward, I know. And that's wave 11. Completed, and we get a helmet, so let's just recycle that one. And take some more luck. Like so. And, you know what, let's take the alien eyes, since we're not going for any particular build this run. So, those are open to us, so yeah. Let's take the planets for more region. And I guess the SMG-3, the turret, save the shady potion for later, and move on to A-12. Welcome to A-12. And this is the I am am I recording check it. And yeah, I guess I am recording right now, so that's good. Oh boy. So yeah, I guess this is uh, business as usual right now. So that's good. And yep, still business as usual. Even in the last seconds. And we completed the wave. And let's take the scared sausage. And you know what? Let's take the attack speed. And the shady potion. And the little muscly dude, which uh, helps the range a little bit. And let's just re-roll, take the plastic explosive, save the rocket launcher for later, because I might just uh, double up on the explosions with the whole rocket launcher plus planes uh, combo. And hopefully I can find some nuclear launchers. That'd be nice. Oh well, let's just uh, worry about uh, surviving this run. Although I guess it is what it is if I don't end up surviving this run. Hmm. And that's a 13 completed, and we get insanity, so let's just recycle that one. And take some more dodge. Which puts us, puts us up to 2% dodge, so yeah. Let's take the coupon, and combine these two SMG3s, and take the rocket launcher. Hmm. Take the target grade. And the Dangerous Bunny, save this rocket launcher too for later, along with its garden. And it is, uh, let's save the copy for later. And let's just move on to A14. Welcome to A14. Hmm, I think I might have to try and find and rep and tear in the shop. Just to see what that would do uh, to the enemies. Though I suppose it, that would be a good thing for crowd control since uh, everything would be exploding. And that's a 14 completed. And you know what? Let's take the blindfold. And the speed. Because speed is changed. And let's uh, sell this SMG4. 
for this rocket launcher too. And a starting and a stoppy. And reroll. Hmm, nothing here that I want. Nothing here. Take the tentacle. And move on to a 15. So yeah, now you got two rocket launchers. Which should be great at crowd control. Along with those planes. Although maybe I should have just stuck with the SMGs. Hmm. Oh well. I guess it is what it is uh, right now, huh? And that's a 15 completed. And we did a field tank, which I don't want. Even though we got those, uh, at scared sausage. Oh well, let's take to my region. And there's nothing here. And let's see now. I guess I could take the plans from our region, which is now at 1 HP every 0.56 seconds. So that's good. And nothing here. Take this rocket launcher 3. And sell the SMG 4. And I guess we can take the campfire from our elemental damage. And the Cyclops Worm. And move on to A16. So yeah, welcome to A16 with our, uh, two new... Um, two rocket launcher twos and one rocket launcher three and air three point uh, two. So yeah, and so far so good. At least on terms of DPS. You know, I think we need more attack speed. Oh well, I guess I can cross that bridge when we get there. And that's a like sixteen completed. So let's take the garden like so and take the elemental damage. Hmm. You know what, let's, uh, play around with the Plasma Sledgehammer 3 since I've never used that weapon before. So that's a new one, uh, for this channel. And let's take the Propeller Hat, as per usual. And now I'm broke, on to a 17. And, uh, yeah. It's gonna be rather interesting to see how, uh, the bot, how that spell deals with the boss. And that's a 17 completed. So let's use that with the Leather Vest, take the Dangerous Bunny. And the attack speed, which is now at 45, and let's take the medical turret, and the coffee, and nothing here, and let's take that uh, plasma sledgehammer 3 for later, and take the cyclops worm, and nothing here, and let's uh, save this rocket launcher 2 for later, and let's just move on to wave 18. And it's just business as usual right now. So that's good. And that's wave 18 completed. And let's see Sacred the Crown. Because that would have been handy, uh, se 17 waves ago. So yeah, let's just take the rocket launcher too. And let's just ditch this plane too for this plasma sledgehammer 3. And take the target raid. And now I'm broke on to 19, and it's gonna be rather interesting to see how this build handles the boss. And I need more range. Oh well. But yeah, I guess it's a uh, business as usual so far, so that's good. And we should, uh, complete this wave light so, so yeah, that's wave 19. Let's just toss a weird ghost in the trash. On with the gentle alien, and let's take some more dodge. Which is not 19. And let's see now. Nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing here. Keep this rocket launcher too. And the book. And I'd say this rocket launcher three for later, but we're on wave 20 now. So I can't do that. Nothing here. Nothing here. Actually, you know what? Let's just take the Cyber Ball. I should have been taking those uh, whenever they came up earlier. Anyway, so let's just move on to the boss. Watch the wave 20. AKA the boss wave. And hopefully I can get the boss to run over as many landmines as I can. Like so. Or just uh, get it to stand in the middle of uh, three turrets. It deal damage to it. And so far, I think that's working out uh, better than it. I expected. Hmm. Let's just, uh, duck, duck our way through the gaps in this, uh... Bullet, uh, bowl. Ow. Oh, boy. Hmm. Yeah, that 
Those uh, sledgehammers aren't really doing much damage, are they? That's mostly because I'm not standing right next to the boss, or it'd be easy for it to kill me like so. So I guess, uh, that's how that builder handled the boss. Anyways, if you want to support the channel, there's a link to my ko where you can buy me a coffee, which is always appreciated, along with some Amazon affiliate links to, uh, my setup, so you can copy parts of it for whatever reason, so yeah. Anyways, 1,000 subscribers before Christmas, and I'll do in Frequently Asked Questions uh, video, so I just start asking those questions now. Anyways, I guess I'll see you in the next one tomorrow, so stay tuned for that one. Bye!